Hey there, are you looking to buy a mousepad that is unique and useful at the same time? Then you really should check out an aluminium mousepad. I am Professor Yu and this is my review video of the Jellycomb aluminium mousepad. Click, 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 whoosh. Whoa, are you guys still here after watching that awful Professor Yu intro? Then you guys must be very serious about this review video. Okay, so let's get on with it then. This is the Jellycomb aluminum mousepad that I actually ordered from Amazon.com and I ordered the silver colored one for but for some reason I couldn't find it today in stock. Maybe it has gone out of stock and they will have it soon but it actually retails for the same price of about $12. The black one actually looks quite, quite nice. The aluminum one is great. Maybe the black one will be just as well. Okay, so I chose this um, this mouse pad because it has the largest dimensions um, among the aluminium mouse pad category I think so for $12 actually the product dimensions can be found here about 9.7 inches into about 8 inches into about 0.1 inch we'll be able to verify it later with the actual product um, I actually chose this one because the table that I'm using now is a temporary workstation and it's not really even so I decided to go with a solid aluminium pad instead of the uh, regular gaming mouse mats which are actually made of cloth or uh, other synthetic materials. Uh, it actually retails for less than the Razer Goliath small control mouse mat which actually is higher than $13. So I think it's a quite a good deal for a solid chunk of aluminium that you can use as your mouse mat, mouse pad actually. So yeah enough with the chit chat let's get on with the actual product review okay so let us now try to verify the height and width of the actual product so if you measure in inches the width of the product reaches 9.75 inches about 9.75 inches and in centimeters it actually ranks up into 24 and a half centimeters so the width of the mouse pad is generous and it actually quite well matches the online documented width. The height is 7.75 inches and in centimeters it actually is 19 and a half, a little bit more than 19 and a half centimeters. So the height and width is actually pretty generous and it's a quite a large mouse pad which you can tell by the ratio of the amount of space taken by the mouse here. Okay so let us now go into some details about the product. Uh, like I said, it's a solid piece of aluminium which works really well as the mouse pad. Um, it has got a nice weight to it and it ha doesn't have almost, it has almost no flex even when you apply some pressure. It isn't really thin but it keeps a very low profile and looks amazing on the desktop. Rather than putting a small rubber feet on the back side, Jellycomb actually put a whole layer of rubber and so it sticks really well um, to the desk and doesn't slide along at all. So kudos to Jellycom for doing that. The base plate of the mouse pad actually has a very nice brushed aluminium feel to it, which feels and looks really nice. And the edges are chamfered and they actually add to the aesthetics of the mouse pad. Um, overall, the mouse pad looks extremely well and the quality of the rubber padding along the back side is also very good the rubber is top notch so i actually don't have any complaints about the mouse pad it is very nice there is one issue though which i will be um discussing later because it's a solid mouse pad it will make some noise when you use it um with your mouse so that part i will also show it in the review um so maybe i will go into it right now yeah Regardless of how it looked like or sounded like in the video, for me, it's not even a problem. I actually use my laptop for a little bit of web browsing, some graphics designing and video editing. 
so I don't really go berserk with my mouse like I did in the video so I really don't think it will be uh, it will make that much of a noise but you know it's your personal preference and yeah that's one thing to look out for okay so next let me talk about one of the biggest advantages of using this mouse pad it is the cleaning you see whenever it's, it gets dirty and surely it will you just need to use a damp cloth or a tissue paper just to wipe out the extra dirt you know it's really not easy with those other mouse pads where they are made of cloths or fibers or other materials so this is one really really big advantage of using this pad okay so that's about all the things that i wanted to talk about in this video um, to summarize i think it is a really great mouse pad it has a very good build quality it looks and feels amazing and it's quite thick so it shouldn't get damaged in any way unless you are too extreme with it but one thing that i would like to mention here is that in the winter it might get a bit cold because the whole thing's made out of metal so that's just one thing that you should keep in mind while buying this mouse pad okay so thanks to everyone who has watched this video until this point i have done a lot of experiments with this um video review video this time and let me know what you guys uh, like about it or dislike about it and i will uh, try to make better videos in future and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments and yeah as always thanks for watching